Ah, look who we have here. How delightful to meet a familiar face, even after departing the round table hold. I've been doing some learning of my own since then, actually, and will happily pass it along to you. a volume of incantation. It's good to see your enthusiasm. Indeed, I will happily take it off your hands. That is a work of heresy. Its incantations bear no lineage from the Earth Tree. <sighs> Very well. I'll take it off your hands. That is a work of heresy. Its incantations bear no lineage from the Earth Tree. <sighs> Very well. I'll take it off your hands. I'm yet to find the noble gold mask. I suppose he'll be closer to the Erd Tree. The path ahead might be perilous, but tread it I shall. Since departing the Round Table Hold, I've come to understand, in my solitude, how little it is I truly know. I'm yet to find the noble. I suppose the path ahead since depart how little it. appear to be doing well. Very good. Well then, would you like to learn an incantation? Do, do you sport with me? From your description, it can be no other than the gold mask himself. Of course, of course, I knew he would be close by. Bless the golden order and its benevolent rays. And to you too. My sincerest thanks. May the golden order shine through you. Ah, we meet yet again. Thanks to you. I have become acquainted with the noble gold mask himself and taken my place by his side, as you can see. Have no fear. I will still teach you incantations as before, though we must do so quietly, such that we not disturb the great master's cogitation. The master is always deep in contemplation, while I frantically attempt to record his wisdom, the movement of his finger, and though I am yet to comprehend even the daintiest morsel of his wisdom, I know that this, this is my life's calling. The Golden Order has bestowed me, talentless as I am, the great duty of documentarian. Was that you? Sorry, but I hardly noticed. I'm a little shaken since the Master ceased his movements. The Master's reflections had heightened as we neared the Erd Tree. While still a precise calculus, the rhythms grew increasingly wild until he simply ceased. Now the Master is facing quite the puzzle. The Golden Order is founded on the principle that Marika is the one true god. However, the name of Marika's second husband, King Consort Radigan, also appeared. Who exactly was Radigan? The Master is stumped. 
His finger has remained still ever since Radigan's name was discovered. Curse my mediocre mind. The Master only has me. And here I fail him. Who exactly was Radigan? The Master is stumped. His finger has remained st But the Erd... Why we were on the fe... What on earth did you do to the Master? Well, not that I'm complaining. Master's finger moves again, resuming his cogitation. More than good enough for me. I haven't the words to thank you. So I'd like to pass this one to you instead. A glimpse into the heart of the Golden Order. Documented by yours truly. was Marika herself. Or at least, such is all I can interpret from the rhythm and calculus of his finger. How would such a thing even have been possible, I wonder? Sadly, I cannot comprehend it myself. Do you have a fuller understanding of the matter? Oh... <sighs> well, either way, I can continue my documentation. In truth, it matters very little whether I understand the Master's thoughts or not. I am merely his scribe. It is my sole and unwavering purpose. thought. The rhythms and calculus of the Master's finger betray a suspicion of the holism of the Golden Order. A conceit, I am afraid, that cannot be overlooked. Oh, but how could this be? I dread to even entertain the possibility, but somehow I cannot cast aside my doubts about the Master. Tell me, have I simply lost my head? Only, if the Master were true to the Golden Order, why would he think to breach this forbidden mount of fire? Oh, Master, put my mind at ease. Dispel these fearsome thoughts. I want to place my trust in you, to be your scribe. <laughs> 